Hey everybody, Casey Nelson here. Today we are doing Jinx. It's season five and I'm gonna show you how to play her, the things I do in lane, some tips and hints on how you can become a better Jinx player. Currently we are sitting at Diamond 4 at about 90 LP. So I'm gonna go through um, the skills and, and what you can do to become a better Jinx player. Now, if you need to know what masteries and rune setup to do, I'll go ahead and link that in the video comment section below. So check those out, so make sure that you are all set up. Now, as far as items, I'm going to go over that as I play the game, and I'll explain why I make the decisions I do. So they want to invade, they're crazy. As I walk up, I get the starting items, Doran's Blade, Health Pot, Ward. That's because Doran's Blade gives you a little health, attack damage, and life steal. Kind of the standard across the board there. But I go into my typical Infinity Edge, um, Fam Dancer, Last Whisper, Bloodthirster build. So I get Q first and I make sure I have my rockets up because it does the most damage and it gives me the most range. And here we go. Oi! A wild Nami appears. She might flash or be willing to flash. Okay. Uh, that's good. That's good. So what that does, it gets some assist gold. It's not too much, but it just uh, sets the stage for a very good laning phase. So that was successful. And quick overview, the reason why Jinx is so powerful right now, she's considered what's called a hyper carry, is because late game she does so much AoE damage, and with her passive called Get Excited, whenever you get a kill or an assist on a champion, tower, or inhibitor, you get a huge movement speed boost. So that's going to allow you to just chase down the enemy uh, just incredibly fast, and hopefully I get to show you a little bit of that during today. But level 1, what you want to do is you want to get level 2 first, and that means killing the creeps, uh, not last hitting, just that first, to so get that first level. And the reason is because you can zone their entire team if you're level 2, because you get an extra ability, and if they're level 1, you're just going to be stronger. So notice how I'm just really zoning him out with my Q. I know it takes mana, but that's okay because I want to zone him out. And I get that range using rockets. So again, we're zoning them out, they're, we're level 2, they're level 1, and if Fresh gets a hook, I can use my traps on them. So I went level E, level 2 first. But the skill order that I like to go is I max Q, I get 1 point in E, and then I max W second. And obviously you're getting the ultimate at the 6, 11, and 16 mark. Again, we got, we got that early advantage, and we're just going to kind of just poke with... Again, here we go, here we go. Pop my pot. I am exhausted, so I'm gonna back out until I'm not. And I got. Uh, so an interesting fight there. Um, that's, I mean, that went okay. It was one for one. Thresh did get the kill, so. Lucian got a little bit ahead there, but I'm gonna back because I have no vision, and so I don't know where their enemy jungle is, and we're playing against a Vi, so gotta be careful around that three and a half minute mark. That's usually when you can see the first uh, jungle ganks. So Lucian, he's staying, so you know what? I'm gonna stay. Use my W to farm there. It's gonna take your man out, but sometimes you gotta do it. So Thresh is here though, so is Nami. I don't think we can beat them in a 2v2 at this point just yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and just farm up with my minions. I'm going to eat just to get them out of the way. Oh, 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 oh. We see Fizz. I see him coming. So I'm going to stay with this here. And again, don't get too greedy because they can't take us. Get my Q on. That W, there we go. That's huge. That's huge. Love it. And so, that was really nice that Fizz came down. Um, we kind of just stayed in the fight there. And we stayed away from the bushes. We just didn't want them by to come pop us out since we were so low. But you're just kind of staying in the right position. So, we're going to let Thresh get this cannon because he has the item called Relic Shield, which gives me health when he has his Relic Shield up. So, what I'm going to do is push the wave because I don't want. Lucian again. Oh. I don't want Lucian getting this wave right here. And so he's going to lose out on, you know, 10 or so minions plus a cannon, which 
which is quite a lot of money. And if we're looking at the CS here, I'm up about six. So I haven't got any kills yet, but I've got four assists. So um, you really sometimes you just can't control that. So usually if you have 1550, you're going to want to get BF Sword. That's a huge chunk of damage. We don't have quite that, so we're going to go Pickaxe, a uh, few health pots. I like to get Boots 1 if I have the money there, and the, ran the Lantern ran out, but that's okay. So we're going to come back to land again. We're still just trying to get to that level 6 because we do have a huge amount of burst damage with Jinx's ultimate. So going back to land, I'll explain her abilities here. Really, when you have your Q, you're maxing it. Uh, the reason is there's two abilities. You have your rockets, and you have your minigun. Minigun does m more attack speed, but it's a shorter range, and I usually only use that to farm and lane. But when it comes to team fights, I'm always switching over to my Q, because again, we just really want to activate that get excited passive, because we're going to be able to uh, just really harass pretty good. So you see I have Q up. Oh, I got The reason why I have Q up is I have more range than Lucian at that point, and I'm doing more damage with each auto attack. So... So again, when you want to harass, just open up your Q and just do little bits of damage here. As you see, Lucian's trying to get back some of that. And we can actually go for this here. Thresh can get a hook. He's dead. So, that's okay. I'm going to pop my health pot, get my health, because I'm going to stay in lane. And we're just going to zone him out. Um, Fizz is coming down, I think, in case the enemy jungler comes down. But as you can see, we were able to zone out really well with my Q, and Lucian doesn't get any of this XP or this creep. And the way is pushing, so I'm just going to last hit and freeze the lane. If you don't know what freezing the lane is, this is it. You only last hit, you let the red minions push into your tower, and you're in a good situation. You can't get ganked because you're close to your tower, and it's overall one of the strategies that you want to learn as ADC. So... Thresh has these, his relic up, so I kind of want him to get the CS and use that ability up. Now we have a level 6, so we do have a lot of bursts coming in. So if we can catch him, we're going to throw down a, a nice fat ultimate rocket. Just looking around the map, seeing what we can do. We're still freezing the lane. Um, we're definitely in a better power position than them. Just looking now, as you can see, Thresh rewarded my two favorite spots: the tri bush on our side, and we're gonna go in. See if we can go. I have heal up if needed. Oh, I got exhausted. Um, the reason why I used heal there is because we do get that speed boost, and we were looking at maybe one more hit on Lucian. So, uh, you know, you really want that kill. But what you have to understand is, even though we didn't get the kill, and again, we're gonna, oh, we're gonna slow him down here. Oh, I'm out. Pop my health pot. Um, one thing you have to understand is it's okay if you don't get that kill because you got to understand what can you get out of it even if you don't get the kill. And in this case, we're almost going to take this turret. I think we probably can. And Lucian, again, is just missing a ton of CS. And we're up over 20 CS on Lucian. So, oh, I have to flash here. Fla oh, that's a great, great play. Great play by Thresh. Avoiding that and lantern me out to safety. Again, I'm going to push this before I go back. That way I can get my CS and go shopping. Uh, I see Fizz coming down, so I'm going to kind of stay uh, ready to fight. Again, dinging where you're going to be is really important because you don't always have time to chat. Looks like they're going to freeze the lane here and thresh his back, so fine. We don't have that 1550. I really want that BS sword. We are super close, but it will come in time. Um, we're just we're doing well with CS. And we still have an extra ward in our, our bank there. Um, at this point, this is kind of a hard decision, but I am going to go with this item. Uh, the reason why I'm choosing this item is it builds into the stack shiv, and it's going to give me a little more crit chance. So there is a little power there, but it's also going to give me gold every time I kill a unit. And the next time I go back, I should have 1554. BF sword, but I wanted to get something just to make sure I'm trying. I'm keeping up with Lucian as far as power and lane, because he went back and he looked like he bought a, a long sword. So um, nice and easy here. 
We don't have ward coverage up, so the first thing I want to make sure we're doing is getting wards up. And we're just going to protect. We're going to put that trap down just as a precaution. Ooh, that was close. So we're super close to our tower, so we don't need wards uh, too incredibly bad. And plus our thresh is going to do it, so I can save my ward. Now we have a lot of minions, and we'll just harass a little bit. So what you can do is called thinning the wave out, and ideally you want them, you know, to be pushed into your tower so it's, you have safe farming. But you don't want it, if you're not very good at clearing the wave, oh, to push them all into your turret so you can't farm. And so you kind of attack the wave before it hits your tower to kill a few minions. Before. So we're gonna, we'll get our queue up, just to do a little harass. As you can see, it's, uh, it's really easy with Jinx, that's why I like her a lot in lane, because you can just pop that Q. Ooh. Almost, almost. And we're just pushing him back. So keep your harass up. Uh, we're doing well, still up. What we'll the waves meet in the middle here. And you can just bully. I mean, you're just, you're just playing the bully game at that point. Um, let's see, I don't think this is going to kill. It does kill. All right, sweet. It's a lot of damage. I didn't expect that. But, I mean, we're just harassing, harassing, and then finally if they want to engage, they're too low from all that harass. So, what I'm going to do is let this tower kill as many minions as possible. And I'm going to just farm the creeps in between the towers. That way, again, Lucian's not getting that CS. Oh. We could probably do it for one more wave here. So you can see the tower is killing the minions, we're just getting that XP and CS advantage. Now, when I kill this tower, I get the speed boost, right? Okay, we gotta get out. I'm gonna just flash over just to be safe. And looks like fourth rush, sacrifice. You'll be remembered. Raptor camp here real quick. So as you can see, we got enough for our BF sword, that's what I'm talking about. And our power spike is just going to continue to get higher. They're going to be pushing the lane here, hopefully we can get back in time. It uh, looks like Nunu's going to go and stop that, which is awesome. So after you kind of mastered the lane phase and figured out, you know, how to play Jinx in lane, you got to take the game to the next level as far as you want to get your objectives taken care of. What I mean by that, if you're not familiar, is you want to get gold for your entire team by killing towers, and you want to take those dragons when you can. And that's how I, I like to play. I like to kill the towers, kill the dragons. Kills and assists are great. It's the glory, like you tell your girlfriend about it, whatever. But uh, the way you're going to win these games and gain LP is by controlling the objectives, warding their side of the jungle, and just focusing on dragons. So right now we've won the lane. Essentially, we've got the tower down, and so what we want to do is focus on objectives. When you press tab, there's those two timers up there. The one on the right is dragon, so we have a minute 30 till dragon. So you kind of want to start setting up for dragon around a minute out, and that means putting wards around dragon, make sure you have clear vision of where they're at. Now, I don't know where Lucina is, but you can see as their jungle's warding pretty heavily, and there's a fight going on. Let's see what's going on. Not great, not great. I'm gonna kill Gromp while he wait. I can still push, um, essentially. Now I have a rocket, and I can throw down a massive rocket if I want to. But no one's low enough for me to just destroy, so. I'm gonna put down some wards just in case. And Gromp. Oh, we got Thresh coming in hot. A little nervous. I'm just trying to figure out what the best play is here. Let's go middle. I want Thresh to land for me. That's okay. Rocket's up, so I gotta be aware that I have a full map alt. He might flash.
So the reason why I did that all so early is if I get a kill or an assist, what that's going to do is activate my passive and it's going to get me to the fight faster. So um, that's the reason why I'm behind that. But as you can see, we got a kill. We're going to push our objectives here, get this tower, and then run more to dragon. And there's no need to stay too long. We know what we came for. And that's a good trade for us. So the tr first dragon's not super crucial super early in the game. You only get 6% damage bonus, which when you don't have very many items, it's not a huge bonus. But it does come into effect later in the game when you have, you know, three or four complete items and 6% damage increase can be quite substantial. So don't be too worried if you don't get that super early dragon, but you do want to kind of get it um, somewhat in the, you know, within the first 15 minutes if you can. So. And we're just going to push a wave here of 2k gold. As you can see, I'm maxing Q first, W second, E last, and obviously, obviously R. I mean, I can, so we're just going to push the waves here. You can bust out Q to clear the waves in the back. I love that AoE. Oh, and they're coming in hot. If there's only two of us, I am super tempted to try and take that, but we do have enough for Infinity Edge, so let's just play it smart. We're 2 0 and 4. We got, we're up about 20 CS, we're playing well, and let's just keep it like that. Get our full item of Infinity Edge, then I'll get my boots here, a couple wards, a health pot, place them in the sockets that I want. So there's a fight. I like to always look at my alts, but it's full map alts in the edge. Throw it down and get a, a sneaky snipe. Didn't happen, I think. Oh, come on, baby. I'm gonna throw it down on Lucian. Coming in hot, baby. Coming in hot. <laughs> yeah, we'll get that speed boost, you see that? And I don't think we're gonna get anything else here. So, Thresh is going top. I'm gonna go middle, push that wave there. Money shot. Love it. So, I mean, I'm looking at my minimap probably more than the actual map itself. Just because I think there's so much going on and you can see where everybody's coming from, so. Push this wave up here. And everyone's up, so let's get back. I like to control the scuttle crabs too. Just, I like that free vision, free ward. You see Vi, let's place some wards down. That was scary. Up oh, Zareth, you see Zareth coming hot. So there's four bottom. And so that means you can maybe push top. Um, just wait it out. Don't be trying to push things that aren't there. Just take what the enemy gives you. So looks like they cleared that ward. Okay, so we'll just pop one over there. Again, vision, making sure you're not getting ganked, is really important. So there's two of them. As much as I want to push up, I don't want to get killed. Lucian's pushing the wave, so you're not missing out on any CS or experience, because they'll come to you. So. Boom. Um, let's do this. So I'm kind of looking for a fight. We're stronger. I'm really fed, and so I want to look for a fight. We're going in hot. So you see science going in hot here. Love it. I'm looking to alt. Alt it in. Getting that assist. Getting that AoE damage is huge. And we're just gonna, I, I probably could chase a little bit, but you know what? I wanted to play it safe. And what that's going to happen is we got two for zero. Um, they're not able to defend the wave. We're going to get this tower nice and easy. And we might be able to get another tower as well. That speed boost when the tower goes down. Just maybe. You never know. Get a couple crits. Get out in time. So let's go down. 1900 gold. It's quite a bit. That's just probably dead. Three on one. He should be toast. Let's go by. Let's become that much stronger. We have enough for static shifts, so that's what I'm going to go for. Again, ward, a couple health pots. Um, ABW, always be warden. And we could probably Baron. 
at this point we're that strong. So let's see what we can do. I got three wards I can play, so let's go get some vision. That way we can do Baron safely, know where they're coming from. So he wants to push top. If, he, if he's pushing top, then we want to control their side of the jungle. Let me get some easy picks. So I'm going to ward up in here. So not bad vision. Uh, with Nunu giving me blood boil, I'm going to be attacking insanely fast and with my kit and my items. We should be able to take Baron down pretty fast. Okay, so I'm looking at the minimap right now. I'm just making sure, hey, where are they? My alt's up, my heal's up, everything's up. But we're taking everything down pretty fast. I'm looking to use my ultimate. But Baron, Baron is most important. It looks like we can maybe take a... Oh, okay. Just fall on Thresh. I just want to get one kill, right? Oh, okay. Use my AoE. That's why you have that queue up because it is so much long range. Oh. Boom. Oh! Oh! <laughs> so if my passive doesn't proc, I'm not escaping that. So that's why I love uh, Jinx's passive. So maybe we can stay. Yeah, we should probably bounce. Ooh. At this point, that's being greedy if I'm staying. So, oh, sign's coming in hot. How can I lead him? Just want to slow him. There we go, baby. Let's get out of there. Get this drag up. At this point, we have Baron on uh, Dragon's up, so that's going to be a free dragon. And we're really rolling into a sweet victory here. The third item, when you're this far ahead, honestly, and you're, they're not really diving you super hard, you could probably, and they're not super tanky. Um, usually, if they were tanky, I would go something like Last Whisper. But with, I'm going to go Bloodthirster this time. Just because I'm not too worried about um, shredding through their tanks because I'm already so far ahead of their big HP guys that just going more damage is better. So we got Yasuo Ba. I'm going to grab red buff. My red buff's got about a quarter of her life left. But the thing with having red buff on Jinx with her long range is you're always being able to chase people down. And so her team fighting is just ridiculous. All bot. I'm coming in hot, coming in hot. Oh, they didn't even need me. Did not even need me. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Put my wards down. Again, I love I love having all that vision. You can see every single move they're making, which is perfect. I mean at this point there's no way they're gonna surprise us. We're so far ahead. Um, we're making sure our vision is under control. Kill the tower, get that speed buff. I just like to see if I can catch it again. Oh, hello. Put up a wave here. Easy tower, like I said, Jinx pushes so incredibly fast. Um, again, tower, speed boost. And I'm gonna see if I can catch it. Boost. Boost. Like they're trying to. Can't outrun Jinx on that passive, so. We're just gonna keep pushing, uh, end this game. Thought our team did really well. Uh, hopefully, you kind of learned something with Jinx about you know, zoning with her Q. Oh, I wanted it. I wanted it. Hopefully, you learned how to kind of zone with her Q, use her ultimate, on um, how to really use her passive. Uh, I'm going to make a Castle Pia guide, so check that out. But uh, if you have any questions, definitely leave a question in the comment or add me in game. I'm more than happy to help you guys. So. Thanks again. That's Jinx Guide Season 5, um, Diamond 4. And thanks a lot for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.